the main topic of the presentation is solar boot model. So it is nothing but a build, operate, own, and transfer. So suppose if you are a German organization, and if you want to come into India, earlier it was very easy, because uh, the technology in India, the, the solar technology in India before five years was, uh, you know, like was ground zero. So it was very easy for you to come inside and then uh, uh, grow with the market. So like you will grow and then you will help the market to grow. But now the, the, the situation has completely changed. Uh, like India and its surrounding countries, mainly China, has uh, do dominated the Indian market and have also started dominating the like, other market. So if a German company wants to come inside at, at this point, the, the best idea would be a, a boot model. So my 10 minute presentation is just going to be about this boot model, what it is, and I'll also be giving a small uh, financial statement of suppose if you are going to invest, uh, let's, say, let's say 100 euros, then how fast are you going to get this money, and what are the other benefits and uh, hustles that you might face, okay? So uh, like as I said you, uh, like German companies in phase one of Jawaharlal Nehru Solar Mission, which is there in India, so they had successfully put, you know, like more than uh, 500 megawatt of projects. The, m the main companies were QCell, Solar World, all which have their uh, uh, like main office or one of, uh, like one of their offices in Germany. So the m all the modules that were produced were from Germany and the thin film also. Uh, uh, okay, uh, like and uh, apart from that, they had also done EPC. So solar uh, uh, like engineering, procurement, construction and management the total turnkey of the project was also taken. And they had also done uh, consultancy services, like, uh, like there's a company called as Scar Energy. So they have done a lot of consultancy services in India. So that was the strength of German or European companies in India one or two years back. But now, due to these reasons, like for example, uh, tough competition from Chinese companies, I know that you should uh, you know, like loathe or hate them so much because of the quality uh, like uh, of the panels and the price at which they are giving you. So it is very less, but it is so competitive that it has pushed a lot of German investors or a lot of German companies into bankruptcy. So how to tackle that? Uh, like how to overcome that and then come to India to do projects? And uh, yeah, the, the, the second one is the saturation of the market in Germany. Germany has already utilized 30 to 40 percentage of solar. So yes, uh, like still a lot of potential is there, but uh, you know, like I know that uh, the German companies would want to come out and uh, like put in other countries rather than concentrating in Germany alone. And then the, the, the unclear Indian political scenario. If you know about India, then you know that uh, putting a solar plant in India is, is very tough because you need to handle a lot of political hands before you actually put the project. And uh, like penetration of German companies in Indian market, Companies like Solon, Infinity Solar, or uh, like or like European companies, they they also have German uh, like hands, and they are already inside India. But the fact is, uh, like Infinity Solar, which is a German company, or uh, uh, like to be more uh, like accurate, it is a Belgian company, which which has many centers in uh, like Europe. They they are going to bankruptcy inside India, so now they are adopting many techniques to come out of this bankruptcy. Okay. Uh, for this, I would also like to uh, like open up a boot model. So, build, own, operate, and transfer. So, wha what you guys do is like, uh, uh, like a project or the uh, client would be bringing up the project. He would say that, okay, fine, I want a hundred kilowatt plant in my rooftop. Now, rather than he giving the money, he he investing the money and uh, he giving to a German company or an Indian company. What we propose is, and what has been there already, which is known as Resco model here, is that we invest the money we put a 100 kilowatt solar park on the rooftop and then we sell power to them for a certain stipulated rate and at a certain stipulated time so that is what we are uh, like looking at here so uh, like in the left side you can see the procedure so build so we do the build uh, like operation we, we put the plant and then we seek the ownership for 15 to 20 years and then we uh, like operate it since it is our own money we will have a fear that we have to uh, put good quality panels and good quality inverters and, and all other B BOM of the system. And then so like we, we will be taking care of the operation and maintenance also at a very uh, good quality. And finally, at the end of 15 or 20 years, when we have taken enough profit, 
we would be transferring the plan to the client. So this is the boot model, build, operate, own, uh, sorry, uh, build, own, operate, and transfer. Okay, so, so, th so this is the way that uh, we SSRC are looking at. So the, the German companies cannot directly go to the client because like, you don't know the client, you, you don't know the political scenario, like you, uh, like you don't know the client scenario, how are you going to get the money from them, et cetera. So what we do is, like, since we are one of the strain-based partners in, in India, we, we would be taking a tripartite agreement between the German company, the German investor, or the German, uh, you know, uh, like any conglomerate, and then SSRC, and then the client. So we would be giving the client to you, uh, like, uh, like let's say a uh, hundred uh, uh, thousand uh, like euro investment. So we, uh, so like we will be taking the client, we'll be giving it to you. You will be making the investment. We will be doing the EPC, and we will uh, you know like successfully uh, we, we will commission the project. So so that is the way that we are looking at. So as an example, I have also made a hundred kilowatt uh, uh, like scenario. So this I will. Yeah. So if you see, let's say for, for uh, like for, for year one, for 100 kilowatt, we are getting a 1,60,000 unit production. So uh, like when you see th uh, that I'm going to sell it at 0 0.09 euros per unit. So I'm going to get a revenue of 14,000 euros for, for year one, and then it goes on. So you will see that. I need to repay my loan, let's say at 3 percentage or at 6 percentage, which, uh, like whatever you can get it from the market here. So you will see that at, at year 5, I am converting my negative into positive. So whatever money I have put, I am taking back in year 5, and from year 6, I am taking the profit. Now, I, uh, like I don't know about the scenario here, but, but back in India, you can, you can finish a project at a, a like very good rate because of the low manpower cost that you have but with the same quality of panels and same quality of inverter. So because of that, your, your payback period is less than five years or like less than six years in India if your German uh, uh, like investment is, is going to come there. Now the same thing I've just put here, so the like investment will be around uh, 100,000 euros for a 100 kilowatt plant. And uh, the generation of power is also around 30 to 40 percentage more than Germany. So a PPA rate can be between 0.0875 to 0.09. It is, it is flexible, uh, like let's put an escalation of PPA rate for three years, uh, uh, sorry, uh, of three percentage for, for every year. So for a tariff period of 25 years or for 15 years, you can very well, uh, you know, like take, a, take the payback in, in five years time. Okay, uh, and your net IRR is going to be around 14 percentage. So you're going to get a loan from the bank at three or four percentage, and your IRR is 14 percentage, which is, which is very much viable for, for any project. So we will be taking, you know, like clients with a strong balance sheet, and they will be giving you a good uh, bank guarantee. Because let's assume that <coughs> uh, the client has suddenly gone bankrupt. So like we should be in a proper position. So like there are, uh, you know, like huge uh, litigations involved, and we will be taking care of all that. So this is the whole uh, like scenario of uh, the model. Yeah. So. So these are some of the reasons that you should have an Indian partner before actually going into boot model for the Indian market. So we know the better, uh, 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 like we understand the paper formalities and the people better than uh, you. And then uh, we have better marketing abilities because like since Steinbase had already gone through a lot of routes in India, we have uh, you know like contacts with more than 100 universities and around uh, two, 250 industries and we have signed MOUs with them. So we have a good uh, uh, like network there. And uh, like we will also take care of ON, uh, the operation and maintenance activities. And since we, we will be having a JV between us, you, you need not care about the office expense, the, you know, <coughs> the like, uh, human resource expense, etc. So we, we, we will be taking care of all these things. Okay? So, so this is what we are offering. Uh, like we will bring in solar EPC companies or uh, the clients. <coughs> and uh, we already have project worth of two, two, 2 megawatt for rooftop projects and the grid connected project of 20 megawatt and these guys are you know like very very financially strong both government and private equities and we will have full uh, full listening uh, uh, like assistance we will be we, we will be providing it to you so what we are looking for from your side is we will be uh, like uh, you know like requiring german investors who would be ready to pump in fund uh, for for development of solar projects 
the, the minimum PPA rate that we are looking at is 0.093375 euros. So that might also increase. I'm just putting it for a safe side. And who's you know like willing to work from a smaller capacity of 20 kilowatt? Because it's a, like it will be a group of projects. 10 clients bringing in uh, 10 kilowatt or 100 clients bringing in 20 kilowatt. So that is what uh, we are looking at. So if you have any doubts regarding this, or if uh, like if this can be you know like taken to the further uh, uh, like stage, you can uh, send me an email, or we can also contact. Uh, sorry, like we can also talk. Uh, like we have uh, uh, like we have a stall in the uh, left corner, Steinbe Solar Research Center. So yeah, thank you, and uh, like I'll take questions up. Yeah.